Hello and welcome to WebDementors YouTube channel and you are watching Python tutorial series for beginners. So in this video we are going to see a small introduction about Python before getting into the part where we are going to learn Python programming. So the first thing is why Python, why you should learn Python. Python has a considerable base of developers already using it. So even before you learn Python, you should know that there is a huge number of developers already using Python for their program. So it means that it's going to have a lot of support, it's not going to die off soon and it's going to see a lot of development as well. So Python has been in development since 1991. So it's already over 20 years and it's still growing. It doesn't mean that it is not developed completely, but Python is seeing growth over this period of time and it's still going to grow and it has seen a lot of enhancements, improvements and also a lot of new features has been added. And you can do more than what you can think of doing with Python. So if you're having an idea or you're thinking of doing something then with Python you can do a little more than what you can do with other programming languages and contains huge number of proven and tested modules and libraries so the Python even with the standard distribution contains a lot of libraries and modules that you can use in order to speed up the process of programming and improve the programming efficiency and it's very simple and easy to learn or write codes in Python. So it's going to be very, very simple. It's just a simple English that you want to learn in Python. And it's very, very simple to write codes as well in Python. So there's a lot of special things in Python. That's what we're going to see in the next part. What's so special in Python? So it's open source, general purpose, and high level language. So open source name itself gives you a lot of advantages. It's going to have a lot of development with a lot of people contributing to the development of the programming language and it's general purpose so you can use Python for a simple programming to a very very complex programming as well so general purpose doesn't mean that it's going to be used for only simple programming Python can be used for very very complex high-level programming so high-level language programming is means that it's going to have simple English codes it's not going to be uh, that uh, you have to use some instruction set in order to do some operations in Python. So Python is going to be very simple. It's going to be like you can easily read it and understand it. And it is object oriented, procedural and functional. So all three in one simple language. It's very big advantage when it comes to Python is that it contains everything. It's an object oriented programming language. It's a procedural programming language and it's a functional programming language. So it's not stopping with one specific way of programming it can do all these in a single program and it's easy to interface with languages like C, C++, Objective-C, Java, Fortran and many more languages so if you've already known some of these languages and it's not going to be wasted so you didn't waste time in learning those languages so you can do the regular programming and when it comes to complex programming you come to Python write the code and then interface that code with your existing code and that's it you have created a great application without actually sacrificing your already known programming language and it has a great interactive environment so Python is very good in interactive environment it gives you a lot of options in interacting with it the next thing is why need Python why need Python when you have other languages so the first point itself is going to be a very big advantage to use Python fewer lines of code compared to other languages so when you're writing codes in Java C or C++ and you want to do some kind of an operation and it might be taking 30 or 40 lines to write that code in Java, C or C++ but when you come to Python it will be reduced to something around 10 lines of code so it's going to be very very small when it comes to code blocks Python will let you write the same code in smaller blocks so it might look okay it's not something big that's going to make me to take a Python but when you write 20,000 or 30,000 lines of code Python can reduce that into half so that's going to help you in developing big applications with lesser problems because you need something around 10 to 15 developers working together in order to write and maintain a huge set of codes but Python lets you to have a smaller team to handle a similar set of application without having a big problem and the next thing is very dynamic and interpreter language so you don't have to specify a lot of things like other languages so like you want to create a variable you don't have to specify the data type of that variable Python itself will take care of that and it's an interpreter languages so that's going to be an extra added advantage 
It's very simple. It's, it's very, very simple that you don't feel that, okay, it's very complex to actually learn. It's going to be very easy to learn. It's going to be very easy to write the code. And so when you start writing codes with Python, you think like, okay, I've wasted a lot of time and using other programming languages to do the same stuff. So for example, in Java, for adding the numbers itself, you have to write something around eight or 10 lines of code. But Python does that in one line of code. You don't have to actually worry about it. Just so simple. And you can do very complex stuff with Python. Python is not going to be a program which can do only simple stuff. So being very simple in the way it can be learned and it can be used, it's not confined or it's not restricted to a situation where it cannot do complex stuff. You can do a very complex program in Python. You can do a lot of things that you think, okay, this is great. So the next thing is no Python with Python itself. So in other languages, it's very difficult, but in Python, it's very easy. So you want to do something. You want to ask something like, what if I do this in Python? In other languages, it's going to be a headache for doing that in the program itself and testing. But in Python, just take up the interpreter, open it, write the line, what you wanted to do and test it out. It's going to be very simple. You don't have to write a big code base or you don't have to write a big program in order to even test a simple line of code. You just write the line of code, press enter, the interpreter will give you the answer for it. So Python can be learned with Python itself. You can just test drive it. You don't have to actually ask around someone. Python can be test driven in the interpreter itself. So that's the end of the video. Thank you for watching this video and hope this video was useful. If you find this video useful, please hit the like button. Don't forget to hit the like button and also share it with your friends. Share the video with your friends and family. And please subscribe to the channel if you have not subscribed to the channel already. If you have any comments, suggestions or feedbacks, please feel free to share it in the comment section of this video or in our Google Plus page, Facebook page or Twitter feed. You can also contact me personally through the social links I have provided in the description section of this video. And thank you for watching this video. Have a great day.